taken for 15,000. Rembrandt Lobel trying to repeat off that 60 to 1 bomb last out by Victor Amatrano. With partial saving in second up on the outside, bad crew. Followed by check this out. Then it's delayed decision. Another two. Eagles Prey, followed by Circuit City. Then a length and a half contemptible. Sand Key and Beach Ball. Opening quarter, 28 seconds. Straight away down the back stretch. And here comes Bad Crew. Pullen will put him on the lead with Rembrandt Lobel second. That's partial saving third by two. Check this out fourth. Delayed decision to the outside fifth. Eagles Prey sixth the length and a half. Circuit City in seventh. Contemptible eighth followed by Sand Key in three. Beach Ball. Approach the half and it's Bad Crew and Pullen. Joey got two length lead. First over, delayed decision. Rembrandt Lobel, third. Half 57 and one. On to the far turn. And it's Bad Crew leading at a length, length and a half over a parked out, delayed decision. Rembrandt Lobel, third. Eagles prey up on the rim, fourth. And it's partial saving, fifth. Check this out, sixth. They approach three quarters. Bad Crew still the one to catch. Rembrandt Lobel in the pocket. Delayed decision. Beginning to fade. Three wide now as Eagles pray. Three quarters. 126 and two, and they're in the stretch. It's bad crew. Circling up on the outside. Eagles pray. Trying to find an opening on the inside is Rembrandt Lobel. In deep stretch. It's Eagles pray. On the inside, Rembrandt Lobel comes charging through. Rembrandt Lobel on the inside. Up to it, Eagles pray. Second and 154 and four. Well, Rembrandt Lobel demonstrates that the win last time at 60 to one was not a fluke as he reports right back to the winner's circle. For trainer Bruce Saunders, the five-year-old gelding by on the road again is owned by Dominic Rebelo of Staten Island, New York. It gets claimed. Jim Wall Jr., the winning driver, he's got the lukewarm favorite in the finale, the seven.